Panay Sewell to left tackle because you drafted him as a left tackle, moved him to right tackle, but where's he going to be playing four to five years from now? He's going to be a left tackle. So I'm just saying just let the man learn the position and uh, let somebody else play right tackle. Learn it on the fly. Mm -hmm. in, in, in right now, there are uh, different scenarios in which Panay Sewell was playing left tackle. We're going to get right out to Allen Park right now. We do have Corey Woods, our Woodward Sports Lines beat writer out there. Corey, uh, thanks for the time, bud. What can you tell us about what's going on out there? Was everybody kind of taken off guard by the fact that Taylor Decker is going to be out and, and Panay Sewell uh, got some reps at left tackle? Yeah, it's a little bit, everybody's a little bit taken aback by it right now with um, Nay. He's going to be going ahead and playing the right, um, playing left tackle um, this week. And he already said, but they, they asked him, how does he feel about it? He's gonna, does he have any trepidation about it? And he said it's going to be like, you know, riding a bike for him. But, I mean, it, you know, Dan Campbell did look a little bit kind of, you know, somber about the news. They said that he's going to be, you know, Taylor's going to be sidelined for a little bit. So, Mount Nelson, he's going to go in there and get the start in. You know, he's he just spoke right now to himself, and he said he's still just trying to go ahead and get the formations down and everything down packed. So right now it's still a real touch-and-go situation. I just want to tap in with you guys real quick because we got to get out of here in the next uh, couple of minutes. And I said, hey, let me tap in right now from Allen Park. Well, we love that, Corey. We appreciate it. Anything else going on out there in, in Allen Park? What, what are the different line combinations? And is it likely that Sewell will, in fact, be the starting left tackle on Sunday? Hold on, can you repeat that again? Is it is it likely that Sewell will get, will get the start at left tackle on Sunday? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty likely that he's going to get the um, it's pretty likely that Sewell's going to get the start and um at um left tackle and then they're going to probably put out Matt Nelson out there. He's going to go at the right tackle, but when Taylor Decker comes back, he's going to go back to um, business as normal. How about DeAndre Swift, Corey? What's the scoop on him? Okay. Okay. All right, so I got to start going ahead and walking out because um, they got to close the gate. So I'll just walk with you guys and talk. All right. So as far as DeAndre Smith, um, Dan Campbell said there was nothing to talk about. Um, he, did not, he did not have any firsthand knowledge of the situation. Um, there's no need for Lions fans to panic. He's going to be going ahead and playing this this uh, Sunday. But as of right now, Dan Campbell said there's nothing for um, – he, has heard, he hasn't personally heard anything about it or know any details about it and said that there is uh, nothing to worry about. All right, Corey, uh, get out of there. We appreciate it. Make sure you don't get locked yeah, in. Yeah, they're closing. I, 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 I know I'm trying to get the comments. You know, just, just come on. They're closing the gates because we got to be out of here now by 3 o'clock wow. off, of uh, off of you know, the premises. So, you know, just going ahead and wanted to, you know, get, get it out to you guys. But, yeah, Sue was going to be starting at left tackle. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. With DeAndre Swift, and yeah, that's just pretty much just the, the, the main news. Oh, one quick thing, this is just one thing that I noticed when I was leaving the field. As per per usual, this is a guy who I've been watching throughout the training camp and throughout preseason. Khalif Raymond, once again, last guy to leave the field. That's all I gotta say about that. So hopefully, the work that he's putting in. And people have had these trepidations about the Lions wide receiver core. Hopefully the work that he's putting in displays on the field this Sunday because every practice he's always one of, if not the last person to leave the field. Hey, Corey, great news on Don Muehlbach. Uh, you know, they cut him a couple of weeks ago on his birthday. But better news today. Tell us about that. Yeah, so Don Muehlbach, they, they, did, they did cut him, but they brought him back. He's going to be the special assistant to Brad Holmes, Rob Wood, and Dan Campbell. They're going to have him involved in various projects um, throughout the um, throughout the football and business operations. So, you know, they want to bring him back. Um, it was a unfortunate situation where they had to let him go on his birthday. But, you know, they brought him back. And, you know, we're curious to see what's going to happen in his new role. Sounds like a guilt it's, it's hire like, to me. Like, it's not like he's going to, it's like he's going to be in, in more like a mentor role. It, it almost sounds like what? Uh, Dan, Dan said earlier, but he didn't really go into too much juice about it. Uh, that's great, Corey. We appreciate it, man. Thanks for hanging in with us. Thanks for checking in with us. A real-time update there out at Allen Park Lions camp. Corey Woods, everybody. Yeah, I, am literally, I, I literally am walking from the field to my car. <laughs> Terry said he's been locked in there before, oh, yeah. Corey, oh, so yeah. you better that's get no out of there. That's no fun either. 
Oh, you see, see, they told me what to do if I ever get locked in there, but I'm not going to share that ride. <laughs> see, they didn't even tell me what to do. I, I'm just stuck just, in there. Just get out, go over the fence, and go on the Southfield Freeway. That's what you do. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, not, not with the way my insurance set up. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's your cameraman? You said what? Who's your camera person? Him. Right now? Are you taking your own photo? Oh, yeah. See, I have my phone. I have my phone set up on a monopod. All right, man. What Look a smart that, guy. Man, I'm telling I never you. would have thought of that. These young kids today. They know how to do everything, yes. man. Corey with a K. And you're looking good today, too. <laughs> All right, Corey. See thanks, you, Corey. buddy. Drive safe, man. We'll see you in just a little <laughs> bit. Uh, but there you have it. So it. You got it. So Sewell is going to be the left tackle. Matt Nelson going to get the start likely at right tackle. And here we go. This was a strength for the Detroit Lions. You would assume their strongest unit uh, coming into the season and already dinged up before week one. Right. And I don't care that he didn't get a lot of reps at left tackle. He, you know, to me, you're preparing for the future. You're not preparing for this year. You're preparing for next year, the year after that. And Panay Sewell, to me, is the future Lions left tackle. He's way more talented than any of those other scrubs that they got on there. Move Taylor Decker to right tackle, and he can finish out his career there. If if Sewell comes out and just totally uh, lights it up and, and looks great out there, would that almost signify a major flaw in the Lions uh, organization, general manager, and head coach to take this player uh, who is a left tackle? This plug moved, and play guy they talked about. Yeah, moved him to right tackle, who completely looked lost. Was one of the lowest graded offensive rookies in preseason. Now I don't know what you want to do as far as go, uh, you know, rely so much on preseason. But he looked terrible in preseason. I think that's a not, fair. Not in run, def not uh, in the in running pass, game. Okay, pa pass he but, did. But it's a quarterback league. It's a passing league. I understand and, that. And, and he but looked here's, terrible here's in something. Pass Yes, he did look terrible. But I think the Lions thinking is, why move two pieces out of place? Taylor Decker was the left tackle, and he's going to move to right tackle. Panay Sewell has never played for the Lions. So if you move him the left tackle and Taylor Decker to right tackle, you have pretty much two new pieces there. So I think their thinking was, let's just keep the left tackle in his familiar spot, and the rookie just has to be a rookie. Fair enough. Uh, I'm excited about the Lions. I'm excited to see what this team can do, and, and everybody's laughing at me all they want. I'm laughing at you too, but I, why? I, why are you excited to see what this team can do? Because I feel like this is the start of at least something positive. I feel like this organization is on the right track. Why do I think that? I don't know. I'm a sucker. I'm a glutton for punishment. I, I'm a, I'm a, you know, a, a softy. Buffoon? Yes. <laughs> okay, all of all those right. things. All of those things that I accepted. But I'm a, I'm a crazy, stupid Lions no, you're person. Not. You're just, you're just, you're just the, you're one of us. Yeah, you're one but, of us. But we all let, want let's that. be fair. Except Terry, he's the only one that don't care. No, no, I, it's not that I don't care. It's just that I don't have expectations, and I never had expectations for this team. This year, finally, I think they've got the right pieces as far as management. I think they have it in place. But because this franchise was so abysmal. Because you had to go through Matt Millen, you had to go through uh, Quinn Tricia and all this stuff. You just Mayhew, can't build. Stuff, yeah, yeah. Mayhew, let's throw them all in. You can't just build this franchise in a year. I think a lot of people out there think, okay, you got rid of terrible coaching, terrible uh, GM. So now you got somebody fresh mm -hmm. who knows what they're doing. Bam, it's going to happen overnight. It's not. All I know is Bosa. Is licking his lips. Is it Joey or Nick over there in San Francisco? Joey. Joey. No, 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 no. Nick Bosa. Nick, Nick Bosa, Bosa is a wrecking crew. Yeah. I think they line him up on Panay Sewell. Yeah, oh, I do. there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. So we'll see. This kid, this rookie, this 20 year old is going to uh, baptism by fire or whatever the saying is. But the thing with the, the Lions, just my, my last point about this, they have been terrible in the past, obviously. They, they've sucked in the past. And every time they sucked, you never thought they were, like, building towards anything. They just were a sucky team. They're a sucky franchise. I feel for whatever reason they're going to suck this year, but at least they're, they're sucking with, with 
a, a point, a, a, a track, a, a path. All right, let me, let me help you out, young fella. Here's how you should look at the Lions' season. Look to see if there are building blocks. Uh, yes. Are they losing the same way they've lost the last?